Okay, the carport uh, project continued. Now this carport is going to have six to seven posts. Each posts are approximately six inches square or 100 centimeters each. They will have a metal shoe, which will be embedded into uh, concrete. Now in this project, we're going to do it um, in a way that uh, is first done with a pad. We're going to level out the pad with a slight slope towards the driveway, which give it a little bit of drainage. And then we're gonna let it sit and uh, compact. Uh, we're gonna uh, vibrate it and tamp it down with our equipment weight and also a personal vib uh, plate vibrator, which compacts the soil down to about 90%. Uh, optimally 95 and we're gonna let it sit probably through the season through the winter and then in the spring probably uh, start the construction we're going to uh, drill the holes with either a rented drill or we can do it uh, by hand with a uh, metal stick and a, and a hole uh, post hole digger so this is the way we're going to do it this is an option you can do it uh, your way or you can do it our way, but either way, you'll have a completed project. The end result will be the same. So there are many avenues or methods or paths you can take to make a project. And uh, logistics are part of this project. We have a, a trailer coming, it's called a mobile home and Due to logistics time-wise, we have it scheduled in the next several days. So due to logistics, we are not able to put the concrete shoes in first for the carport. It would be in the way of the trailer delivery. We also had to remove part of the fencing at the front gate area, which is now you can see is, uh, has no gate or area. And uh, so that's part of our logistics. Logistics is a part of a project that should always be pre-planned and having a general contractor uh, is very important because logistics are part of that uh, education that has been learned over many, many projects and years. And here we have another load of two to three inch um, limestone, I think they call it here regionally. So I don't know how many yards that is, but we're gonna take a guess that it's uh, 30,000 pounds or five to six tons and we're using the weight of this truck to pre you know pre-press the rocks into the soil and so the weight of it the weight of the truck itself is uh, marginal i don't know if it's uh, a 10 10 000 pound truck five tons so with the six to seven tons we have 20,000 pounds or 10 tons on top of this rock. So we have quite a, quite a lot of weight. And here we begin the uh, next load. I think this is the final load. The uh, topping on this gravel is going to be a smaller rock and it'll embed itself in between the, uh, the uh, larger gravel. So to be continued.